Okay, hello. Hello, guys. So, my name is Paro. Uh, this is Ashpile. I'm going to play a game called Dispersio. Uh, Ashpile is actually the creator of this game. Cheer for that. <laughs> and he has a lot of hype with him. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start. Oh, shit. I'm going to start my game and. Uh, Ashpal is gonna take over the commentary from here on pretty much. Yeah. So I uh, I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one, go. So basically, the game is uh, just a simple platformer. It has only like jumping mechanics and uh, moving around. Uh, you cannot shoot in this game, you have to avoid projectiles and the enemies. And uh, the plot is that uh, the main character found something interesting and decided to go there <laughs> to find it. Uh, basically, no spoilers. And so this is the first uh, level of the game, is getting to what he wants to find. It's pretty simple. I can say it's most easy, it's easiest level in the game, but it's second easiest as I think. So, also, uh, big shout outs to uh, Creepyu, who wrote this amazing music for this game. It couldn't be as good without him. The music in this game is actually phenomenal, I gotta say. Uh, so yeah, this ba game is very cycle based. Um, first of all, you have your jumps and you can always uh, just hold your jump button and try to time them. Right here is a very precise skip by the way, I got it though. This is the hardest trick in the game. Got it first try. Uh, this is a very cycle based game. I mean, the laser beams are gonna shoot in a very specific order. Didn't get the bat jump. Uh, there's a bat jump right there that I'm trying to go for, but it's actually really difficult to get. Uh, so I did not expect to actually get it. Uh, basically, throughout this game, you will play different themed levels. On the first level here, you are only able to do normal jumps and you cannot do anything else. That's what I wanted to say after you beat it. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you so, can sit yeah. down. Uh, now, after first level beaten, you have seven levels to choose. Uh, the order means nothing. You can do order whatever you want, and it uh, doesn't affect any gameplay. So, on each level, you have uh, unique mechanics, like this level, factory, uh, you, be, you are able to dash. And the whole level is built on uh, using this dash. Okay, maybe through. you can explain something about uh, how this game handles uh, RNG. Sure. Uh, it's not actually RNG, but sometimes you can do things, sometimes not, because it's uh, el <laughs> it's a little bit inconsistent uh, because all the physics, all the moving movements, are based on the frame time. So if you have a delay or kind of, the trajectory, the movements uh, will be different. Wow. Oh, and you didn't get a checkpoint. I'm gonna get the checkpoint now. Let's go for marathon strats and actually go safe. Yeah, so basically I can have uh, strats that I'm no work and then sometimes they don't work. Uh, so it's actually important to try to get, uh, that was my fault though, that was not the game's fault. To actually try to get um, strats that always work. And I have that for most rooms, but there are some rooms where I try to go fast, and to go fast I actually have to take a, a chance. Come <laughs> on. 
And factory done. Second level is Egypt. So you are inside a pyramid and your ability here is to break blocks. This is the most, uh, this is the easiest level in the game, as I think. But still we have some pretty hard tricks in the speedrunning. You may notice uh, he collecting sometimes uh, money bags. Money bags mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to collect them all to get a 100% ending, but uh, that's all. Is a hard room? Those jumps are actually hard. God damn it. In casual playthrough, you're supposed to do two jumps. So one jump for breaking and one jump to jump over. Nice. It's a very specific timing to actually keep your momentum and break the blocks. And this room is very punishing. Since as you can see, platform moves very slow. So if you fail here, you lose like 7 to 10 seconds, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot of time waste. This is actually not how you're supposed to beat this room <laughs> in casual playthrough. And this is new strat he came up with uh, not so long ago. And nice. There and Egypt's done. So the next level is caves. Uh, and here you have a double jump. Spike hitboxes are kind of rough, <laughs> but I still try to make it as uh, kind to the player as possible. Oh, couldn't go for a quick cycle there. Yeah, there is a chance to get a quick cycle, but uh, it is really hard to do. Come up this room. Oh, so this is also very hard room. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's really hard. That's the hardest trick in the game, I think. Also not how you're supposed to do that room. Yes. And this is the hardest room in this level for casual playthrough. But it's not a big issue for a runner. <laughs> Now we play the waiting game. So as you can probably... Oh, okay. But yes, this is one of the rooms where if you fail, you will lose a lot of time. And cave's done. And now we have catacombs. So mechanic mechanic here is uh, the wall jump. This is uh, the mechanic which I spend most of the time to make. Because, as you may know, making good wall jumps in games is really hard. Like getting all this... Uh, I don't know. I fixed that strat, by the way. I don't. I can't kill oh. it either anymore. So yeah, if you played a lot of games with a mechanic of wall jumping, you may notice it's maybe good, maybe bad. So I spent a lot of time to make it good, and I hope it is. It's very good. Very soon, 
we will see the hardest room in the game for casual playthrough. Some people spend hours here. Yeah, this is a very difficult room uh, the first time I play it. Just because you have to learn, uh, really understand the game and see where the platforms are. Oh, oh, wow. This is fine. Don't worry. This jump is very hard because platform mo moves really good and nice. Got some money for charity. <laughs> Yeah, I don't talk too much, I just want to make you enjoy this beautiful music in each level. The music is, as I said, amazing in this entire Yes, game. and each level contains its unique soundtrack. And nice, there it comes down. Servers. You may notice which game I wanted to reference by this mechanic. So, yeah. Uh, basically, I was inspired by VVV, VVV, and uh, you have to win the game. But a lot of people compare this game to I wanna be the, the guy and I wanna be the boss. I don't know why you can shoot here, but probably they are partly right. Since it's game is hard for first time to beat it. Here we have a lot of bats. I hope we won't get any issues with them. And yes. So all the game basically based on find finding correct timings. Let's see if I can get this. It's true. This is really hard skip and first okay. try. Oh my god! <laughs> I just did that. Can I get it a second time? Consistency. Yeah, nice. Doing many, many stupid mistakes right now. This is fine. And uh, out of those seven levels, I think this one is the hardest one for a casual playthrough. I mean, the whole level. Uh, because catacombs have only one hard screen, and sewers had a lot of hard screens. So this is basically uh, iceberg level, where your ability where you have the ability to freeze your enemies and they stop and won't hurt you if it shoots, it won't This room is really hard for casual playthrough. Yeah, hard for me as well. <laughs> but not the hardest in the level.
place is the hardest, I guess. <laughs> First try. Okay, we're at the well, bats. The bats. Nice. I tend to always die there. That's probably the biggest run killer in the, in the entire game. And now, Mountain, the last level out of seven, where you have ability to slow your fall, or slow down, or uh, slow fall, yeah, that's the word. This is also a pretty easy level for blind playthrough, I guess. And of course the falling part. As I said, I always die there. <laughs> I literally said that to Ash Pilot. If there's one room in this entire game that I'm, I am gonna fail, it's that one. And this jump is pretty tricky. There we go. And nice. Okay, so now all the seven levels are done. And we have a space station level where you have all the abilities you get. And you basically switch between them. You can choose your special ability and the jump. So you can have like double jump and freeze, or wall jump and dash, and you combine them to go through each of the screens in this level. This is probably the hardest level in the game. Uh, and I hope everything will be fine. Yes, this spot is pretty tricky. Oh, wow. Oh. And space station done. Very nice. And now it's the final boss. I spent really a lot of time to make it. Like, I guess, a month. To come up with the idea of the boss, to all the patterns, to how he looks like. And it was really difficult for the first time. But not for our runner. Don't, don't jinx it. <laughs> also, this RNG pattern here can actually screw you over really bad sometimes. Sometimes yes. it's impossible to actually get past it. But on hard difficulty, RNG pattern is even worse than that. Yeah. And time is coming up. Time. Time. Yeah, that's disperse you. Let's see how many deaths I had. 
18, sub 18. 20. That's, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. That was my goal. So yeah, um, I would really hype this game up for anyone who is uh, enjoying 2D platformers. Ashpal has done a, an amazing job creating this game, and uh, even though I've been speedrunning this for many, many hours, I still have fun doing it, and it's just an amazing game. So uh, I think it's only 39 cents right now. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. 50 cents. <laughs> You'll have to look for yourself. Yeah. I set a discount for the ESA period. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, if you don't want to spend much money but you want an amazing game, go to Steam and buy Dispersio. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, guys.